Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Ravina Karnik, who have recently cracked a job as a data analyst and most importantly as a fresher after six years of long career gap. She was basically preparing for government exams. With her consistent hard work for several months, now she has finally cracked it. And so this video will be very important for all the freshers and especially to all those people who have a long career gap. So watch this video completely till the end because I will be discussing about all the details of her journey which helped her in her success. So without any further delay, let's start the video. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe the channel for more useful videos like this. And also you can follow me on Instagram page Learn with Gigs for data analytics related content. And friends, do congratulate her in the comment box as she really deserves the appreciation for the hard work that she has shown. And please do hit the like button of this video as it is completely free for you and it will really help me. Hello Ravina, how are you? Yes, Sushank sir, I am fine. And how about you? I am also fine. Thank you so much for giving your time and coming on this channel. So yes. I have already given your short introduction to the audience. Let's start with the first question. So Ravina, uh, can you tell the audience about your educational background and which highest degree you hold? Uh, so, uh, yes, Shashank sir, I am from uh, Kolapur, Maharashtra, okay, basically. And I have done my uh, engineering in electronics and in 2015 and um, uh, from local college. And uh, after that, I have done master's, uh, which, is, which was also in electronics branch and uh, which was completed in 2018. Okay, yes. then what did you do after that, after your post-graduation? After my post-graduation, uh, I have worked as an assistant professor for a few months, okay. But uh, then I um, then I left that job and... I so, one question, the... one question here, like, <clears throat> what were you teaching when you were there as assistant professor? In that, uh, uh, I teach students for about microprocessor, about microprocessor and also statistics part. Uh, so in 2019, I have decided to switch my career and I have started preparing for government banking exams. Okay. I have joined one uh, local class and started preparing for it. But uh, uh, in 2021, uh, I have cleared um, LIC prelims, but uh, I have faced some challenges in mains. And um, then after that, uh, in 2021, I got married also. And uh, after marriage, my state was also changed. So it's very difficult for me to attend the exams and um, uh, to prepare for it. So I have decided uh, uh, then in 2023, uh, my IBPS PO prelim was cleared. But uh, again, I faced some challenges in mains. So uh, I'm a little bit depressed in the in those things. And uh, in that period, I'm, I'm a little bit depressed. And, so uh, continuously, then, so so continuously for four to five years, you kept on trying for different government exams, specifically targeting bank PO roles, right? That's what you're saying. Yes, yes. So during these many years, like how are you managing your mental pressure? Because you have been somehow getting the rejection at the last rounds. At that time, now um, I have taken time for myself only. Uh, so for one day, I read one, uh, I read uh, the stories which is based on success stories. Okay. So I have decided to re read books and uh, um, after uh, reading books, I have decided to um, uh, watching movies. Okay. Like uh, the pursuit of happiness. Okay. So th those are the things. Uh, so that the things are which, uh, which gives me hope. Okay. So I watched such kind of movies, which gives us hope. Okay. It's little bit hope. That's really yeah. great. So. Uh, yeah. Why did you choose data analytics only and which skills you targeted once you decided data analytics to me? Uh, since I have used uh, uh, used Excel for student information, okay, and I have uh, teach students for uh, uh, statistics, so I have little bit knowledge about that. But uh, after searching, I find that SQL, Python and Power BI, those are also the skills which are required for data analytics. And uh, so I have the knowledge about statistics and SQL, Excel and also student uh, students data. So I have decided to switch. Why not try this? Okay, so I have decided to switch into data analytics. So like how did you learn these relevant skills which you said like Excel, SQL, Power BI and Python and how long did you take to learn all these skills? So uh, whenever uh, when I uh, searched for data analyst, okay, then I found some institutes and I have learned the, some skills like uh, uh, SQL, Python and Power BI from that. Okay, and after that, uh, which gives us, uh, which uh, will take to my six to seven months. Okay, and after that, uh, I started preparing for internships and uh, for uh, Power BI and uh, the, those internships I have got from LinkedIn only. And uh, those internships so what, I have what, 
what what strategy you applied that you got those internships so on linkedin there is also internships uh, groups are also there okay so there is one group also there so i found that and uh, they sent the uh, ads advertised regarding that and i applied on there and uh, then i got that those internships and uh, from that i have done four internships uh, in so, power bi so so you you were you got added in few groups uh, particularly yes, related yes. to data analytics on linkedin yes. and from those yes. groups only uh, you got the opportunity for the internship yes, yes. so uh, now the next point is how did you craft your resume as a person with around 6 years of career gap since you got the job recently so with 6 years of career gap how did you design your resume and uh, if possible can you please share your screen and share the kind of resume you built so that it is helpful for the okay. audience also so uh, shashank sir here is my resume okay so in my uh, resume i have mentioned the projects which i have done okay and uh, so for every project i have attached the links okay like live live dashboard link then my presentation video link okay and the github link uh, my github repository also so okay. so that they, uh, they have given my um, detailed idea about my project okay So yeah that's a good that's good that's a good thing that to uh, include a presentation video link also because in this way uh, the crew, the recruiter can see the communication skill also of the candidate so it's a very important point for all the people who is watching this video to include presentation video also if possible for all the yes. projects that you will be uh, doing right yeah here i have mentioned the skills okay and i am uh, highlighting it because uh, uh, for uh, for job description uh the the job description whatever the job description that matches with the the skills keywords. are matched with mm-hmm. your ha the keywords are matched with the your skills so i am highlighting here the skills okay and the whatever the skills i have mentioned here uh, see that the pandas numpy also i have mentioned here mm-hmm. uh, sql power bi also and uh, after that because uh, uh, i have 6 years career career gap so i have done some internships okay and that was i have mentioned here see here uh, okay. i have done four internships okay which was uh, based and on the, uh, data analytics and data okay. scientist okay and these are the four uh, internship that you were talking about that you yeah. got it from linkedin yeah. itself right yeah yeah yes 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 okay that's great yes okay now one more thing you have mentioned about your portfolio on the top which is also a very yeah. uh, important point for all the people to uh, include the portfolio can you also show your portfolio yeah. how have you designed it so this one is my uh, portfolio page okay where i have mentioned uh, projects and certificates on s- different pages okay so okay. you see here here i have mentioned my experience okay and my education the little bit summary about me then i have mentioned here whatever the skills i have that data analytics skills and machine learning skills okay then i have mentioned here projects whatever the projects i have done in data analysis and machine learning when you click on data analytics it will gives you the projects which i have done in power bi sql excel and sql so these are my projects okay and i have uh, participated some resume project challenges also so that projects also mentioned here okay that's very that's, yeah that's that's really nice so definitely as a fresher or a person with a career gap you need to have a strong yes. project for project portfolio otherwise yes. if you don't have a proof of work there will be no chance of getting recruited only considering yeah, okay. the kind of uh, Uh, the competition that we have in the market so it's very important to have a strong project portfolio so you did internships you you did the hands on in different skills now now let's talk about the job hunting strategy you applied because that's very important point how you actually got your interview call right so what were the job hunting strat- uh, strategies that you implemented for job hunting uh, job hunting i am using uh, two uh, platforms only linkedin and nokri uh, nokri.com okay so uh, then uh, first time i uh, first i have used a uh, nokri because uh, uh, because on nokri.com there are lots of jobs and i found uh, i i found lots of jobs openings and uh, i have decided uh, for subscribe subscription it okay and as uh, i have subscribed for 3 3 months but i didn't get any reply from any company from uh, or from any hr so you are saying uh, so you are saying nokri premium subscription didn't work for you right yes yes so that's a good uh, good learning for the audience that if you are thinking to buy nokri premium So as per Ravina's experience, she didn't get any kind of result. So you should think about it if you are going for 
the premium subscription yeah i think for fresher it's not uh, helpful but i think uh, for experience it's may be help it may helpful but for me it cannot be helpful so i have decided for linkedin okay and uh, and uh, i have take linkedin subscription okay okay so on linkedin also you went for linkedin premium subscription yes yes okay. then i have decided for linkedin subscription and then i have tried uh, for uh, um, hr uh, hr employees okay uh, the companies uh, the companies uh, the opening job openings first thing i have um, uh, searched for data analytics jobs okay then after that i have searched for power bi developer jobs and whenever you search on linkedin like that then you have lots of job uh, links or uh, jo lots of job uh, uh, links or lots of job descriptions are there and when you go on that dis description you will find that uh, the hr employees email id or the company's email id okay and then i have applied uh, i have mailed my resume my uh, uh, kind of request and um, my portfolio link on the on that mail and uh, uh, from that i have uh, got some, one reply from one hr and i found uh, one call from hr yes. so basically you so are saying I, that you went through the job descriptions and then you try to grab the email id of the recruiter and then you try to mail everything about you to that email id right and then yes, you said right. you got replies from there on yeah yes yes so since um, my linkedin profile was uh, that much good and optimized so so they refer me yeah that's the okay, can 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 you can you also share your linkedin profile also so that we audience can see how you have built that and how is it optimized so that it was impactful yes. uh, first thing is that i have made a professional banner okay a cover photo okay here here also i have mentioned the skills okay i have a professional photo also okay i have uploaded mm -hmm. it then uh, after that here i have uh, mentioned my skills okay in my about uh, info see mm -hmm. that then okay. after that i have linked here my portfolio okay so mm -hmm. that uh, you will uh, directly goes into my portfolio and see the projects and certificates okay which mm -hmm. i have got mm -hmm. and uh, then after that so uh -huh. here is my about section okay where i have mentioned my education experience skills okay and after that here the feature section is very much helpful but because in feature section you have uploaded your projects okay whatever the work you have done so that the, the uh, it, it's very uh, matlab it, it's very useful for the employees okay mm -hmm. for the hr managers and then i have done here my experience okay i have uploaded here my internships like uh, Mm -hmm. of then bharat intern and atli technology see my sql certificates then uh, python certificate so hacker rank is very much helpful for uh, practice purpose mm -hmm. so i have practice regularly on hacker rank mm -hmm. yes so here is my recommendation section okay where i got recommendation from my uh, uh, tpo uh, for my training and placement officer uh, from my college okay and uh, uh, here i have uh, here uh, this one is ankit hasija he, he is the employee in uh, made to easy so i have got recommendation from my internship okay which i have done so that's also yeah. very important to get some kind of recommendations also from your yes. uh, ex colleagues or uh, ex people with whom you have worked so, okay ravina so now let's move towards the next question so what happened in the interview like once you got the interview call so what all things how many interview rounds happened and can you explain those things in detail and which skills they targeted in the interview uh, so um, when i receive that call okay then as they send me one assignment okay and do that assignment and they give me uh, two uh, two three days okay three days to complete that assignment which was this that assignment which based on power bi only okay and they send me one data and uh, uh, and uh, they want some uh, one dashboard from that data particular data okay and after that uh, uh, after that submission my uh, after that submitting my assignment i have received one call and uh, then they took my uh, uh, managerial round okay managerial with technical round and in that round they also asked about uh, uh, excel then power bi and also about data and, uh, after that uh, they um, uh, they want my uh, background uh, family background 
whatever the uh, that uh, how um, that uh, if you are married then how you manage so such a kind of questions okay so did you and did you tell the whatever is like in your introduction did you mention about your uh, prior career gap of 5 yes. 5 6 years did you tell yes. that thing exactly yes 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 i have mentioned that i have don't uh, i have don't tell any lie on uh, for that okay i have whatever the truth i have tell tell it that uh, that i have six years career gap and all but uh, but i have uh, the i have got uh, those skills okay which are required in those uh, in those six years i have work on myself only then after that another technical round is uh, uh, done and in that technical round they ask uh, uh, about power bi focused on power bi only and also excel part and also they uh, uh, they uh, told me that uh, uh, to explain uh, two or three projects okay which i have done previously so, that so that's a, uh, that's all that's also a very good point so if you have a good project portfolio project portfolio yeah. you you can be asked about your projects that you have built itself yourself right so that's why yeah, i told right. in between also to have a good and strong project portfolio for you so how many interviews you gave during these uh, during this period in your job hunting process uh, i think i have done 8 to 9 Uh, interviews what salary range you can tell about from your experience that a fresh that a fresher with a career gap can expect uh, for a fresher i think 3.5 to 5 is good okay that's 3.5 to 5 lakhs per annum okay yeah and i think whatever experience whatever journey you have told to the audience i think they will get to learn a lot of things from you they will be inspired from you also because you have done incredible incredibly well to move out from that uh, government exams zone and coming to data analytics domain and finally you got the job as a fresher with with the, with 6 years of career gap career gap yes. so thank you so much davina for coming and sharing your experience yes thank you so much ishan sir